we're going to write to string, but we're going to do it really quickly. And we're going to do it by looking at add. What does add do? If the head is null, and when would the head be null? When we create a new linked list, the head will be null. This is the constructor of the link list, not the constructor of the node that's up here. And let's go ahead and collapse node so we don't keep looking at that code. We're inside my link list. So that's the my link list constructor sets the head to null. So the head will be null right after it's created, but before any elements are added to it. And so if the head is null and you add, the head equals a brand new node. And remember this constructor didn't take another node, so the next on this node will be null. If the head is not null, that means our linked list is not empty. We start at the head. I like to call this current. No current equals head. And then of course we gotta change it down here. I probably should have control R to rename, control V to paste. There we go, much faster. And we're declaring a node here. Okay. So what does this for loop do? This is a little bit tricky. And the reason that this is declared above the for loop uh, is because if you put it inside, declare it in here, if you look, this for loop's kind of tricky. It actually has nothing inside of it. So all it's used for is to advance current. And if current next is not null, the way you advance it is current equals current dot next. And it's gonna seem a little weird, but remember a node had data, it was just the node name dot data, and it also had another field, the next field, and the next field was another node. So current is a node, and the next field of current is also a node. So what this does, it says current is equal to the next node, the node that's ahead of current. And so that's how it goes one by one down the link list. And this for loop, all it does is when the current next is not null, it just advances. So eventually current.next is going to be null, but that means that current is the last node. So what we're going to do, this current next is going to be null when this loop stops. And what we're going to do is set the next, which was null, because it was at the end, is going to equal a brand new node. And of course, you want to increase the size. So that's how add works. To string, we're going to do the same thing right here. We need a result string result and we'll just start it with a square cap Oops. and now as we loop through we want to grab the data for each node result equals results plus and by now just remember you can do the plus equals which means result equals itself plus whatever I put here and here's where we're going to use the current data. And you could call the toString method here, but remember, result is a string and it's concatenating to the data. So, therefore, the current data, whatever object this is, the toString method is going to be called because it's being concatenated to a string. Uh, we don't need to do with anything at the end. We're not adding, we're not creating anything new. So, when we hit the end, that's fine. We do need to return result, but we need to put the end cap. Oops. There we go. Uh, we do want to add a comma in here. Uh, let's see, data plus, and depending how you want to space it out, I think the standard spacing is comma and then a space. Uh, you will have the problem that you'll have an extra one at the end because if you add each data with a comma, even if there's one element in there, it'll still be a comma at the end. And whatever your last, whatever your last piece of data is, will have a comma at the end. A few ways to do it: you could substring it, but you better check it first. Uh, another way to do it: you treat the first one differently, 
And here's how you know if there's nothing in there, meaning there's not even a first element. If the head is null, there's nothing in there, and we're going to return just that right there, meaning the empty, that'll be the empty link list as a string. And once we do that, now we're guaranteed that head is not null because if head is null, we're going to stop the code. So we can current equals head dot next. Uh, let's see, hopefully this will work. Head dot next. Yeah. And then we'll process just head by itself. So it's kind of like this, and I probably should have formatted this earlier because it's a little bit uh, misleading. All right, so all this does is put the data in, doesn't put a comma in, and I'm going to put the comma at the beginning of this. So that should fix having, you always have one less comma than the number of elements, so one element gets added without a comma, and I did that right here. And then, yeah, this should loop through. Okay, we're gonna save this, and we're gonna write the testing code.